everybody. Um, we will go ahead and get started. I see we have a few folks joining us late, but as this is a um, 10 minute tech session, we better go ahead and get started. So welcome to the Starboard Tech 10 Tuesdays. And thanks for joining us today on the selection day. I can't believe it's November already. Um, with, so with the new month, we are moving on to a new set of topics. If you missed any of our reporting and analytics tips, you can check out the replays on our website, which is starboard-consulting.com. For November, we're gonna explore some of the Maximo industry and add-on solutions. So that'll be our topic of today. I am Amy Terry. I am a senior project manager at Starboard Consult Consulting. I have spent the past nine years managing Maximo projects for Starboard, and many of which were utilities-based. And during my years of implementing Maximo, many of our clients have asked if they needed Maximo for utilities. The answer to that question is almost always, maybe. So let's start with the, let me get the slides going for you guys. Okay. So today we are gonna focus on Maximo for utilities. Let's start with a little background on what Maximo for utilities is. So IBM has a set of what we call industry solutions. These solutions are based on core Maximo and include a set of pre-configured applications and features that are designed specifically for the industry. When you license an industry solution, you get all of the regular features of Maximo plus additional features that are unique to the industry. The value in the industry solution is that many of the requirements that are specific to your industry are already configured into the system. So you don't need to make a lot of configurations or retain any other software products to handle those unique and specialized functions. So as you can see here, it's in the portfolio that we're talking about is Maximo Utilities. So before choosing an industry solution, whether or not an industry solution is right for you, it's important to understand the key features that make the solution different from core Maximo. If you might only use a small piece of the added capability, it might make more sense for you to configure core Maximo than to buy an industry solution and not use most of its features. So Maximo for utilities, is designed to meet some specific requirements for transmission and distribution companies. We mostly see it used by electric distribution and to a lesser extent, gas and then water. Um, there are a few features that you gain with Maximo for utilities that are not, are not available in the core Maximo applications. The Maximo for utilities solution primarily includes pre-built configurations around compatible units, smart meters, crew management and labor, <coughs> labor qualifications, NERC SIP compliance, prerequisite activities, and integrations to external systems like a graphical design tool, fixed asset, account, fixed asset accounting, and the ability to import meter test results. So some of these capabilities are easier to configure than others are. Starboard has built integrations to these internal and external systems without the utility solution. And we configured Maximo for NERC, SIP, version five and version 13 compliance. So let's dive a bit into looking at Maximo for utilities to see what features are included and do they really make a difference for you? There are three key features of the Maximo utility solution that set it apart from core Maximo and make it worth your investment. So we'll see. Sorry, making sure my slides are updated. Um, the first is compatible unit estimating or CUE. If you're not familiar with the term, compatible units or CUs are construction templates that define labor materials, tools, and services that are required to perform construction work. You can kind of think of them as job plans on steroids. Um, what makes a CU different from a job plan is the ability to build CU hierarchies, as well as the ability to apply filters and adders to the CU that are dynamically applied based on parameters that you place in an estimate. For example, if you have a CU to install a full dressed 50 wood, you know, 50 foot wood utility pole, the filters might include things like soil conditions. If it's in a coastal area or an inland area, the voltage of the line, the size of the conductor, et cetera. 
But by setting each of these filters, Maximo will automatically select the needed materials and add additional factors to the labor estimates to account for the conditions. A 50-foot hole in a coastal area in sandy soil for a 16 um, kV line will have a different material plan and labor resources than in one inland on a rocky ground with a 25 kV line. <clears throat> with regular job plans, you would have to build every possible combination of these factors as a unique job plan. But the CU library allows you to build just a single CU and note what material should be dynamically applied based on the conditions and filters. Once you have your CU library established, you can use these templates to estimate jobs. The compatible unit estimating application allows you to create one or more estimates for a construction effort, creating different scenarios to find the best design possible. Um, these are called versions. These scenarios may provide insight into variances in the cost of construction for different designs, using internal or external labor and other factors. Once you have approved your estimate, Maximo will then compile all the required resources and copy them to the work plan on your work order. The CUE application can also integrate with your engineering design, design tools. So if you use um, Designer, AutoCAD, Autodesk, other graphical design tools, there are integration options for you. CUE can also integrate with your fixed asset system to account for construction work in progress and update property accounting. So let's see, we're getting to meter management. The second set of pre-configured applications that are unique to Maximo for Utilities relate to meter, smart meter management. Unlike traditional meters used on, one equi on equipment to record readings and measurements, smart meters are assets that utilities manage and must track and maintain from cradle to grave. An accurate meter is a must for a customer billing for any distribution utility. The smart meter applications in Maximo support activities like bulk receiving, meter sampling, asset swaps, and managing test results. The meter process starts with the receipt of multiple meters, typically thousands at a time, and the ability to generate unique serialized assets in batch. Utilities also allows you to test the meters as they are being received, creating sample sizes to validate the meters on receipt before they are made available for installation. Then once installed, meters have to be tested periodically to ensure they are accurately recording customer usage. It would be nearly impossible for a utility to test every meter. So Maximo can identify sampling groups based on common attributes, such as the manufacturer, age, or meter type. Once the meter sampling group has been defined, Maximo can randomly select a set of meter asset records from the group and create a work order to test them. Testing results can be captured manually by importing them from, or by importing them from an electric file generated by the meter testing program. And then another feature of the meter management applications is the ability to automatically generate work orders from meter alarms. Building on the condition monitoring application, meter alarms can be recorded from the XML generated by the meter and use a cron task to generate response work. And of course, meters can be integrated into your customer care and billing systems. So we're going to move on to the spatial. The third feature we will cover today is Maximo Spatial. While this integration to your Esri GIS is available as an add-on solution for Maximo outside of the utilities industry solution, it is also bundled with the utilities industry solution. Spatial allows you to link your GIS features to locations and assets in Maximo and to create GIS features representing your Maximo work orders and service requests. Displaying this data in your GIS, in your GIS provides insights into problem areas and recurring maintenance far better than the traditional tabular Maximo data. Spatial is a big enough set of features by itself to warrant its own focus on a future tech talk. If you're interested more details about, in more details about the Maximo Spatial Project, be sure to turn in, tune in next week for our Tech Talk for a deeper dive into Spatial. So to summarize, Utilities brings with it some deep features set around key areas of focus that are important to distribution and transmission utilities. 
Whether it is the right choice for you depends on how you manage design and construction. If you have an existing meter management system, and if there are aspects of your business that can be streamlined and improved with better software. If you aren't sure, reach out to Starboard and we can help you assess your needs and help build a roadmap for the path forward. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully we'll see you all again next Tuesday as we cover spatial, and then following that is scheduler and HSE. And as always, Starboard Consulting is here for you as your Maximo experts, providing our clients our years of experience to create quality solutions. Thank you so much. Have a great day.